the late 2010s marked a realization for Elon Musk, a daunting potential threat to humanity was lurking in the form of artificial intelligence AI, and it was predominantly being monopolized by a single company, Google, under the ownership of Larry Page. Google possessed a staggering three-fourths of all AI talent on the planet, and no one dared to compete with them. Google's focus was clear, artificial general intelligence, AGI, or superintelligent AI, an endeavor that could be more dangerous than nuclear weapons. While Elon acknowledged AI's significant potential for good, he recognized the potential for severe harm if not handled responsibly. He believed that radical new technology demanded proactive action, either maximizing the good or risking serious repercussions. If this path continued, Larry Page, who showed little regard for humanity, could end up with sole possession of this potentially world-ending technology, becoming the ultimate challenge for Elon. In response, Elon gathered top AI researchers and startup founders to establish OpenAI, a non-profit organization with the goal of countering Google's AI monopoly. OpenAI's primary objective was to ensure that AI's advancement was aligned with humanity's best interests, aiming to create AGI in a way that would benefit everyone, free from financial constraints. OpenAI began as a research-oriented AI company, striving to conduct breakthrough AI research without focusing on profits. However, financial challenges loomed, as AI research and training were immensely expensive, requiring hundreds of thousands of dollars daily. Even with Elon's initial billion-dollar donation, sustaining the organization became difficult. In 2018, OpenAI underwent a transformative change, shifting its focus to large language models. It released its early version, GPT-2, a breakthrough in natural language processing. Despite the positive impact, financial struggles persisted, leading to a conflict of interest. Elon departed from OpenAI to work on his self-driving cars at Tesla, leaving the organization facing significant financial challenges. In dire need of funding, OpenAI had to rethink its approach. It promised to limit profits and considered seeking external investment. Microsoft stepped in with a multi-year partnership, investing an additional billion dollars, transforming OpenAI from a non-profit fighting against Google's AI dominance to becoming a de facto arm of Microsoft. With access to Twitter data, OpenAI trained its models until Elon halted their access in March. In April, Elon and others proposed a six-month AI research pause, which, while symbolic, aimed to draw attention to the impending AI competition. But the real power lies not in the models but in the data they rely on. The true battleground of the AI future will be the data sets, and ownership of valuable data sets will become the key. As AI gains prominence, data's value continues to grow, and secretive partnerships and deals will shape the AI landscape in the coming decades. The battle for AI supremacy involves not just the model's capabilities but control over the most valuable asset, data. In the midst of this intense competition and rapidly evolving AI landscape, OpenA's future remains uncertain. The organization once envisioned as a safeguard against AI monopolies is now navigating a complex alliance with Microsoft while trying to retain its noble mission. The journey of OpenAI serves as a crucial reminder of the multifaceted challenges AI presents and the critical need for transparency, ethical consideration, and collaboration to shape a safe and responsible AI future for all of humanity.